Okay, stopping shanks. Wouldn't it be great if you could confidently step on a shot and not shank it? Well, I'm going to get right into it and show you a few different drills and ways that you can try to avoid the shanks from ever happening again. So I really struggle with early extension in my swing. When I get to the top, I really feel like I have to kind of thrust, for want of a better word, through it, and I have to fight that. So here's my tips to stop that happening. Because when you do it and you come down through the ball, if you go like that, you're just going to give the hosel. So my first recommended tip is do the narrow stance like this. So ball in the middle, just flail your toe out a little bit and then set up to it as you would normally. Now what this does is it means you're not going to wobble and lose your posture because you can't. But if you try and do it, you lose balance. So you have to stay in posture through the shot. Just like this. So feet together, flail the left toe out, grip down slightly because it's difficult to hold on to it. Pulled it a bit, but that's on the green still. Second tip then, so you really want to feel like you are from the square position there, you're setting it on the right angle. So you want the shaft kind of pointing at the ball like that, and you're just winding around as wide as you can. Again, something that I do is I feel like I need to get it right over here. And you can see it just straightens my spine. I'm standing up. So I feel like getting it on plane there and then you're just twisting around and then coming through spinning through twisting those hips and then through the other side the spine angle you see staying over it and the shaft pointing at the ball Got the pulls, but again, that's on the green. If you're enjoying this content so far, then please think about hitting that subscribe button and giving it a like. And let me know in the comments what drills and tips you might like to see to help you in your future golf endeavours. And then the last one, there's kind of two parts to this. Oh, out of the way, stick. So when you're addressing the ball, make sure you've got some shaft lean in there. Kind of at your left thigh there. You want to keep that angle nice and compressed so that, you see there, you've got less loft on it. It's going to penetrate the wind more. Don't do that and you keep it square. Look how much more loft there is. So set up, lean a bit, try to maintain that angle through. <laughs> And then the second part, to aid in that, you really want to make sure that when you're coming through, you keep over it, keep your hips turning through, so you follow through. Hands are nice and low and left. Not up there like that. That's just going to add loft, it's going to straighten your spine, and it's going to maybe lead to a shank. So keep it turning through from that position, low. Like that, nice low. Low. Almost like a punch shot. Let's put them all in together. Narrow stance. Left foot turned out. Shaft lean. Get the angle of the shaft set. And low finish through. Off. That was struck right out of the middle. So I've not shanked any of those and you can see if you put all those into practice and you can get your hips turning through you can get your angle set on the way back keep turning through low finish mainly about keeping your spine 
maintained and not straightened and standing up through the shot that's just going to lead to the shanks so try it and don't forget drop a like subscribe for more tips like this from dk golf thanks for watching